For each assignment, including discussion forums, you will be given a rubric. A rubric breaks down each goal for an assignment and assigns points for that goal based upon the student's success in achieving that goal. What does that mean? For example, the first goal in this discussion rubric is quality of content. That would be the first goal of the assignment and it is being given 75% weight. If there is no percentage next to the goal, then assume it is given 100% weight. The second goal for this assignment is grammar and netiquette, which is given 25% weight. Going back to the first goal, quality of content, take a look. To succeed in accomplishing that goal, we would look in that column and the accomplishing criteria is given. The post would look like this. Student is responsive to the discussion prompt. Student shows accurate and in-depth applied knowledge of the material. Content is detailed and clear. And you can see that the student who accomplishes this goal can earn between 21 to 25 points depending on the quality of their response. Likewise, a student who meets this goal at the satisfactory level can earn 15 to 20 points, and the explanation of what constitutes a satisfactory performance in terms of content is spelled out in the satisfactory column. Once the instructor awards points for each of the two goals, points for each goal will be multiplied by the weight given. So, if a student earns 25 points for content, that number would be multiplied by 75% or a total of 18.75 points. So I would put in here 25 times 75% equals 18.75 points. If the student earns 22 points for grammar and netiquette, that point total is multiplied by the weight of 25 percent. So 22 times 25 percent equals 5.5. Then the student has earned 18.75 plus 5.5 for a total of 24.25 total points, which I would round up to 25 points. Now let's talk about why a rubric is helpful. A rubric is helpful for two reasons. From the instructor's standpoint, I can award a score with a clear explanation of how points are allocated. This allows me to place the same weight on each assignment goal consistently from student to student. From the student standpoint, you can refer to the rubric as a sort of checklist during your drafting process to make sure you are focusing on each of the goals in the assignment. When you receive your score, you can immediately see the specific strengths and weaknesses of your performance. So what do you do with the rubric? If a rubric is provided, be sure to review the rubric before beginning the assignment. Ask your instructor to clarify any of the goals in the rubric immediately so that you understand exactly what you have to do to be successful in completing the assignment. Refer to your rubric often during your drafting process to measure your progress. Upon receiving your score, look at the rubric to understand your strengths as a writer and what you should work on for the next assignment. As an instructor, I find a rubric extremely helpful in clear, clearly pinpointing the strengths and weaknesses of a student's writing so that I know how to help the student in future assignments. I hope that you will also find the rubric helpful so that you will know exactly what you have to do to produce a successful piece of writing.